Howdy, it's Ben and your bookish bear. I'm going to do a quick wrap up for comics that I read and purchased in May. So I'm just going to dive in and I'm going to start with the stuff that I purchased and read. So let's do this. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is going to be Beef by Star Kings and Shaky Kane, I believe, is the artist. So I have the first uh, three issues. First of all, the covers are kind of amazing. And in the back of each book, they... so. They're, they're actually making the stuff that's on the covers, so it's harder to tell with the this one, which is like, like a calendar, but they actually made the calendar. It's harder to tell, but with these, this stuff, like the, the milk jug and the, the beef tin, like they, they actually made those and then photographed them, and in the back of the book, they kind of show you how they did it. Like the process so that's kind of awesome but th this book is insane and in the best possible way and I'm really enjoying it it's just the the colors are amazing the colors are kind of what caught my eye and attention in the first place but it's just this really weird book it sort of has a lot to say and has a lot of um, kind of critique critiques and um, looking at social issues but the art is amazing and uh, I, I'm really into it I'm really enjoying it I need to get issue four there are only four issues out so you can catch up if you if this interests you there's this cop guy who only talks in Smith quotes which is insane and so he has like an inner monologue that you hear but when he speaks to other people it's always in Smith quotes. But again, the art and colors are just incredible. I definitely highly recommend the beef. If you're into like Toxic Avenger type stuff, you would probably be really enjoy this. I'm not going to give too much about the story away because there's not really spoilers, but I think it's more fun if you don't know really what it's about going into it. The next thing I got was this is... Uh, volume, I don't even know, six or seven of Avengers number six, which I am way behind on Avengers. I got the trade, the digital trade for like $2 for the ones after this, but I had to issue five, so I needed number six to be able to read the next ones. This, uh, this arc, which I think ends with this one, maybe the next one, was kind of them versus Kang, and there were a bunch of, uh, a few different Avengers teams from all different timelines, which was pretty cool. So this was a good story. The art is amazing. It's the guy, Mike Del Mundo. He did, he did Weird World. If you were reading Weird Weird World during the Secret, Secret Wars number uh, two, that big crossover, they had a book called Weird, Weird World, which was one of the highlights and the art in it is amazing and it's just this weird kind of style that you I, I mean I don't I don't know anyone else who's doing art like this his colors are always kind of these weird muted cooler tones um, I don't know it, his art's really great so that's one of the main reasons I wanted to finish reading this but I think I'm gonna skip everything that I don't have and just start reading the new Avengers number one that, and two that just came out. Um, the next thing that I got was Iron Man 599. I'm stoked to read 600. Tony finally shows up and, you know, says, hey, I'm okay. There's a big reveal at the end. There's a scene where he, it implies that he's going to do something that could be cool for a character that's dead. So hopefully we'll see something cool come out of that. But yeah, Iron Man's 599. It was uh, pretty good. And then... Spider-Man 239 and 240. should bag and board this. So this was Bendis' last issue of Spider-Man. His last issue, maybe forever, writing Miles. And it was kind of tough to get through. There's a scene at the end that I possibly teared up again. Uh, I teared up about. It's just kind of, I don't know. It's weird. I didn't read his full letter at the end because I didn't want to 
be super sad about the fact that he's leaving Marvel and, and we're finally getting to the end of his runs. 600, I guess, is going to be the last Iron Man that he did. But so this one's, but this one's kind of a big, bigger deal because he invented Miles and he's always written Miles. And it's going to be weird to see someone else writing him. But um, these were great, both great issues. Keep reading Spider Man. Hopefully, it'll be good after Bendis is gone. And then I got 705, 706 of Thor. This is um, the death of Jane Foster and how that plays out. So this is kind of the end of that arc, but then very quickly reminds us that the War of the Realms is still going on, and that's still a thing that's happening. And then there was this special, the Gates of Valhalla special, which I didn't really like all that much. Um, it was kind of, it was okay. Basically, the, these three daughters, of granddaughters of Thor, go back in time to meet Jane Foster and it's kind of the, that's where we find out that Jane is, you know, sticking to her regiment for um, her treatment for cancer. There's a, a quick story about the evil elf guy who still wants to rule all the realms. So yeah, it's, it's all right. It wasn't great, but if you're a huge Thor fan, you should pick it up probably. And then last but not least, uh, we get into Vine 36. Crazy stuff happens. It's coming to its end soon, I think, and which is gonna be tragic. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna handle that well when we get to the end of the Wicked and Divine. I'm just telling you right now. Okay, so on to the stuff that I purchased but have not read yet. I read a bunch of stuff this month or May in May as well that I put away already. So, but yeah, the stuff that I purchased and and haven't read yet. The Wedding Special, number one, I, I guess maybe they're doing more than one of these. I don't know why they would need to do more than one, but anyways. I guess Kitty and, and Colossus are getting married, finally, and it's a pretty big deal. I'm not caught up on X-Men Gold. I am a few issues behind, so I haven't read this yet just because of that. I flipped through it, and it looks like it was, I don't know, <laughs> exactly what you would expect. Peter on a, you know, guy's night out for the night before, and then to get into a fight or something I'm expecting is going to happen. And then I got, this is not a series that I'm really interested in at all, but I found out that uh, Chris Bacalo is has been doing some of the covers and interiors for this book, the Spider-Man vs. Deadpool. And, I mean, this cover is freaking amazing just in itself. Chris Bacalo is, everything he does is just great. I don't know. I don't know. It's great. Uh, there's this cool splash. Also, he he drew Doctor Strange in there in the opening, which is kind of a funny and cute homage. But the this is uh, where it lists all the written by and then pencils by blah blah blah, which is kind of a cool page. So yeah, I'm gonna pick up these if I get them, if if I can find them for cheap because I just I don't really care about the story, but I love the insides and I love his art so much. And then he's like like these these covers are just great. So Spider Man versus Deadpool. This is number twenty three. And then I have Captain America issue six ninety five through. 702 so a lot of captain america that i need to read i don't th this guy chris somni samni chris samni he's doing so the covers really stood out to me because they're just kind of this classic style that i really enjoy it just looks really good and he's doing the insides as well and they look very i don't know i think it was a really smart move on marvel's part to throw in this kind of very classic art style to bring Cat back into the whole not being Hydra thing and win people readers back over. So it's very stylistically, it's kind of smart, I think. So it's, uh, but I haven't read these yet and I'm pretty stoked to get through those. Big uh, Steve Rogers fan. The cover for 700 is pretty great. So yeah, big Steve Rogers fan, so I'm stoked to read those. I didn't, uh, Mark Wade is 
is writing it and he did some awesome and has been doing some awesome work on Amazing Spider-Man, so I'm stoked. He's writing a lot of books, so I've noticed he's writing a lot of stuff for Marvel at this point. So I'm um, hopefully he's not going to get burned out and not be as good. But he was really good on Daredevil. He was really good on Amazing Spider-Man. So I'm expecting him to be really good for Captain America. I didn't real, I didn't like Nick, Spen Nick Spencer's run, um, and not for the obvious reasons, but just it was way too wordy. It was kind of boring. Uh, I didn't enjoy it, and which is not usually what Nick Spencer is about, but I didn't think it fit very well for Captain America, his style. So uh, I'm stoked to get into those. I got Barrier, uh, 1, 2, and 3. So the interesting thing about this book is the layout is, I'm sure you've seen, if you're a comic fan, you've seen this already, but the layout is... Like this, I'm probably giving spoilers away because I haven't read any of this. But it, it doesn't read side to side, it reads top to bottom. So that's really interesting. Uh, they've got these cool cardboard kind of covers. It's a limited run of five issues, I believe. So I'm uh, pretty stoked to read those. I need to get, I think it's kind of a sci fi ish book. I know that they gave away Barrier, the first issue on Free Comic Book Day. I paid for mine like a dummy, but um, yeah, so these these are pretty great, and I'm, I'm stoked to get into those. Maybe I'll read those later today, actually. Finally picked up, uh, or got Mr. Miracle 2 and 3. I need to get the rest. They're just tough to find, which is annoying online, and when I go to my comic shop, I they're tough to find as well. So 2 and 3, this is a series that I really want to read and get caught up on, because the first issue was so incredible. And I just haven't read any else of the others yet, so stoked about that, Mr. Miracle. And then Headlopper number four. So now I have all four issues of the second of the second story. So so to read that. Um, so yeah, that's what I purchased and read, and not all of what I read, but most of what I purchased in May for comic books. So if you are reading any of those or enjoyed any of those or hated any of those. Let me know down in the comment, comments, comics, in the comments, and we can talk about it because I enjoy talking about comic books because I'm a nerd. Thanks for watching. Happy comic reading, and I hope you're having a good day.